Hello good people, I hope you're well wherever you are and welcome back to Nemo Sweet Treats. My name is Faith and today we are going to decorate a Batman themed cake. This cake was for my son who was turning 8 years and he had requested if I could make for him a Batman cake and who am I to say no? The cake was a rainbow cake and if you would want to see how I made it, please go back to my previous video and watch it. So I'll start off by making the buttercream that I'll use to crumb coat the cake and also put in the layers. And to make the buttercream, I'll need the 500 grams of prestige and one kilo of icing sugar and vanilla essence or any other essence that you would want to add to your buttercream and some milk. If you want to see the detailed video of how to make the buttercream, video is right here in this channel so go ahead and watch it once I'm done making the buttercream now I'll go ahead and assemble the cake so I will start by trimming the cakes and leveling it and then after that I'll go ahead and apply the buttercream decorating the cake you have to put cream on the board between the board and the cake to avoid it from moving while you're creaming it Once I have layered the cake, now I'll go ahead and put the first thin layer of buttercream. This is what is called crumb coating, just to make sure that the crumbs don't come out as you decorate. Once I'm done, now I'm going to put it in the fridge for it to set. Meanwhile, I'm going to soften the fondant, the grey fondant that I'm going to use to make the Batman. And also, I have a video of how to make the fondant in case you want to know. Still go back to my channel and watch it. Now I'm rolling out the fondant into a circle that will fit the cake. There's nothing to worry about if it doesn't come out as circular because eventually you're going to trim it once you put the fondant on the cake. So now the cake has already set so I'm just going to put the fondant on top and just fit it and flatten it and make sure it has stuck well. <music> I'm using the smoother to make sure that the cake and the fondant is smooth and has smooth edges. Here I'm just pressing it from top to bottom to just make sure there are no air bubbles stuck inside the cake. Now I'm trimming out the excess fondant. Go 
ahead and get the yellow fondant for making the mouth of the Batman. <music> go ahead and put the nose and the ears that I had made prior
have the Batman cake as simple as that. We are done and my son really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this content and if you would like more such content, please subscribe to this channel, like, comment and share and let me see you in the next video. Bye bye.